face of the screen again, fellow slaves. Let me start over. I've shot a couple other videos about this already, but I'm probably going to scrap them. Anyway, unfortunately right now there's still traffic noise and all kinds of stuff. Hopefully there's no ambulances going by or anything. Regardless though, I am trying to rejuvenate this battery here. As I've seen done on YouTube by guys like Uncle Tony's Garage, Uncle Tony over there. Uh, do make sure you have this out in the ventilated area. I have a fan behind me blowing it away from me. And even so, these bubbles are giving off gas that are uh, actually flammable too, so don't smoke around them. Or... <coughs> Excuse me. Whatever you do, be careful. And don't take what I do as any kind of advice either. That's first off. I should say that within the first minute on YouTube or else I'm going to get demonetized. I've never made a penny off of YouTube in the first place, but whatever. I don't want to get sued either. I hope it's not starting to rain. Sorry about the camera work. I'm trying to hold this one-handed. So, I have a grid here. So, the water levels were pretty low on each cell. So, I added them all with distilled water. I added them up until they were uh, topped off. So at 2.45 p.m. I had a specific gravity of, you know, one point, like 12.10, 12.10, 12.60, 12.60 on that one, which is high. That's actually good. It's in the good range. And then uh, 12.10 again there in the middle, 12.10, and then, but this one over here by the positive terminal gave me the most concern is that it was 11.5, you know, or, or 1.15, 11.50. So that means that there was more of the, like the sulfuric acid crystallizes to the lead inside this lead acid battery. So when it crystallizes, it impedes, or it actually like, it takes what was a liquid acid and turns it into a crystal and sticks to the lead. And not only does it impede the ability of the lead to do its job, but it reduces the amount of available sulfuric acid in the solution in the cell. So by adding water, and also what I'm doing right now, here's the hint, I'm adding a charge. You can see it bubbling. What I'm doing is using my stick water. About this Harbor Freight, I've got it set to I started off at about as low as the dial would go, like maybe 15 amps. I'm running on 120 volts, 120 volts, just a regular wall plug. You could run this off of 240, but I don't have one in my house that actually would accept that, so I have to run it off of 120. Now, the only thing about that is the duty cycle. If I was actually welding at a higher amperage or whatever, you would have to stop every couple minutes and let it cool down. But in this case, it's actually running just fine. I'm, I got a fan behind it. It's cool enough. I'm putting my hand on it once in a while to make sure it's cool. And it's actually been running for a couple hours now. So, let's get back to the battery. Also, wear safety glasses, because this stuff, even these little bubbles, if you get a little droplet of this stuff in your eye, it does burn at least for a few seconds. And you really get the urge to go wash it out with water, and you really probably should anyway. But just, how about start with not getting in there in the first place? So, with it set to whatever that is, approximately, uh, maybe about 40 amps. Actually, because I have turned it up quite a bit since I started this. What you want to have is about, uh, let me pause this for a second and set up my voltmeter. Okay, sorry about that, we're back. I've got the negative probe over there we're set to the voltage you know uh, DC so I've got that 1652 or well 16.52 I had to turn the uh, I had to turn the, the stick water up a little bit so just so you can see, 
And now we're pretty much at an even 50. On, but that's the 240 skill. You have to really pay attention because the... Actually, I'm still probably only at about a little over 20. Maybe about 25 amps on the 120 volt scale. So, just... This is my first time. Layoff. I'm sure you got a bunch of wise ass comments out there. But I'll tell you this, I can definitely, even with the fan behind me blowing pretty hard, there is some gas coming out of here. So if this was being done inside of an enclosure, you would have the risk of having an explosive fire, you know, fiery explosion. Uh, I think it makes hydrogen gas, basically. So hydrogen, remember the Hindenburg? So you don't want your garage to be a Hindenburg. It's kind of a little bit of an irritant. You know, I mean, I'm trying to keep my distance, but even just taking a whiff of it here and there is kind of starting to bother me. Like I said, the fan is blowing 99.9% .9 of it away. <coughs> Maybe it's that last, uh, I don't know, the last cigarette I had. Anyway, shouldn't admit I did that, but I did. Don't start smoking, kids. Don't start smoking. So always remember to turn this off because it wastes your battery. But I've got this list here. It is about time for me to, you can see the four o'clock. At first, you know, it was really just the one on the, right by the positive terminal that was the most uh, low. But still, seeing that it's risen over time already, doing this treatment, seeing that the amount of buoyancy, you know, the, the specific gravity has gone up, means to me that the it is true that dissolving the crystals, the sulfuric acid crystals that have formed on the, uh, on the lead, returns them to a liquid state to where they are once again the battery acid you need to make a battery continue to function maybe for years. I think I'm catching this one just in time. I have a little bit of bulging on the sides. I'm not sure if you can see that. I wanted to make this video right before it gets dark. That's why I'm kind of in a hurry and a little flustered. And also the traffic outside. I once again apologize for the noise, but you can see it's a little bit, a little bit rounded. I think I'm catching it just in time though. The other side's the same way. I'm not really gonna try so hard to catch this one, but I think you can see. It's, it, it really isn't that bad. This one's actually a little better than the other side. Anyway, it's like a nice science experiment too, though, because I've never done this before, and well, the one time I've done it, it didn't work out, because I think I was too aggressive. I didn't have a stick water at this time. Like I said, Uncle Tony's garage, Uncle Tony, demonstrated using the same stick water, but he cranked his way up higher, I think. Like, once it started bubbling, he just turned it up more. Which, you know, God bless him, he never did it before either, and thank him for even giving me the idea to try it. One of the guys in the comments on that video, actually, was the one that had the best information. But, and that's why I love Uncle Tony, is because his commenters and just the people that subscribe or even comment just it's like they're all adults it's great just try to share information nobody shits on each other too much like we troll around we joke around people joke around but I'll tell you I think there's a lot of promise in this one so let me pause this real quick I gotta check one thing it's that bird over there